Guys, from 3D printed design, I've got all kinds of stuff on the method right here. This is the Baja Ray 110. Now, I've got pieces up front right here, on the sides, limit straps, a carbon back piece, a new rear sway bar, and more. Let's get to the table, I'm gonna show all this to you, take it for a drive, let's go. And this is one side done. Now, 1.5 and two millimeter wrenches, you're gonna need all kinds of hexes for this thing. For some reason, you gotta peel the uh, sticker back to get that off right there. There's a bolt hidden underneath all of that. But here's your arm right here, here's the link. You gotta switch this around backwards, put everything back into place. Um, the reason for this is you get as much better leverage for the sway bar to work. That's a big deal versus having it up here by the fulcrum. This is so much better. With the other side done, you're gonna have to put this in like this. You gotta get this started just like this right here because if you don't, then you're not gonna get the bends through the carbon plates. And then you get to bolt everything together. I gotta tell you, this is an absolute incredible job. The fit and finish of this carbon piece is beautiful. And here we are. I have one of these washers on the inside of this arm right here. This just simply pushes right up into this. This is a very nice design right here, so it can't come loose or anything. You guys can see the little piece right here. I gotta flip this arm around, get all this stuff set up. But this right here goes into it just like this right here. If I can get this on camera here, just like that. There's a bolt that drops down in there to hold it in place. But that's it right there. Now I'm gonna go and flip this right here around. This is your sway bar link right here. And you have two options to put this into place. You put this into here using the 2.5 millimeter bolt that comes with the kit. You put that in there and, it, and everything's gonna work perfectly fine. However, it's a little bit undersized for the bolt. If you use a three millimeter, okay, you're gonna have a little bit of a bind issue. This piece right here is just a little, a little bit too thick. So if you wanna use a three millimeter bolt in this, all you got to do is file this down right here. At that point, it'll work. So using the two millimeter goes right in, everything flows smoothly or file it and make it flow smoothly with a three millimeter bolt. The choice is yours. Okay, the back end of this is done. Got limit straps right here, everything. Flows nice, nice carbon plate up here, all this stuff like this. Very nice setup right here. I've even got the limit straps for the front as well. And now I have a few more things to put on. This is mainly to help keep the sand out of it. This piece right here goes up into there and these go underneath here. I'm gonna show you how these are mounted in just a few seconds. This is what it looks like on the side panels right here. And this is here to basically try to keep the sand out. This piece right here mounts right down into there on those three holes. And that just kind of blocks this area off, kind of like that. And here you go. It is put in place now. To get to those screws, I was able to get the one here, here, pull this right here up, and I was able to get right into there to that middle one. So, and I did use longer screws. So now all I've got to do is put the rear tires back on, put the body panels on, and uh, should be about ready to take it for a drive. And there it sits. We are ready to take this thing for a drive. See that carbon sitting right up there. I got everything back in place. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go. All right, guys. Now, I'm looking for less body roll. Oh, look at that. Now, I'm not talking about less rolling. <laughs> the only way to get less rolling would be to actually really lower this thing down. And I do kind of have it turned up a little bit. So we're not gonna worry about that, but you can drop these down to get a lower center of gravity and all that stuff. It's the torque twist that is much less with a sway bar at this point in time. Now the steering, that took a lot of it of on to get right. And all I'm doing is running 2S. The track is currently kind of disconfigured right now but hopefully i fix my jump let's find out all right there we go 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. I got, I got to do some jump manicuring here. But regardless of all that, oh, that one I got to work on too. But we have, we, uh, we have a big race this weekend. So I just wanted to get this one right here taken care of. Nice right there. Ooh, got pipes, everything in the way. But overall, it looks really nice here. Nice. Oh, I got, can't hit that one. Now this truck, um, I got the 4,000 KV, believe, uh, I believe in it. No, woo, that was a perfect landing. I love it when you come right down the back side of a ramp. I love that. Look at that, nice. I can definitely see some improvement here. Oh, that didn't work. But regardless, you can see everything right down here. Oh, sort of, yeah, carbon, all that stuff. Uh, everything seems to be working beautifully. I'm really happy with this setup. Oh, nice flight. I want to hit this jump so bad, but I just can't. I got to fix that. Oh, very nice piece, buddy. Very nice piece. Wow, now I'm getting some good air off of that. Now, it's not related to the video, but we're going to be running big trucks on the oval, which is pretty much this right here. Ooh. That right there, all the way around. All right, so we got that one. And we're also gonna be running a whole different pattern for the uh, one tenth and one eighth because we got a double header. So we're gonna come around right here. Let me see, how am I doing this? Yeah, we're coming around like this right here, okay? Then we're gonna come bring it around over here, through here, across this jump right here. Then we got a short run right here. Oh, it's gonna to be tough. And then you gotta to zip it, and then you finish right through here. That's gonna be the way this, uh, uh, the layout's gonna be for Sunday. Hey, this thing is jumping super smooth, flat. When you have a lot of torque twists on the back axle and you're launching a jump, that torque twist will make the truck go sideways in the air. It may not sound like that big of a deal, but it really is. So, and the back axle being live, that's how you get it. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice piece. Very nice piece. All right, guys, I've done a little bit of pipe work. It sure looks tight over there. I may have to do a little bit of work on that to get some room. I got plenty of room to work with right there, but let's just go ahead and see if I can get a slow lap in. Kind of curious here. I don't want to flip. I just want to try to get an idea of how the thing's going to flow. That won't be too bad once we get an idea of uh, where we get used to it coming around. Oh, well, battery's dead. 3D printed designs did a wonderful job on this. The carbon fit beautifully. I mean, like everything was right where it needed to be. The pieces right here printed with a TPU, so it's kind of flexible. Um, actually, pretty smart idea because as you crash and flex this thing, it's going to flex with the chassis. It's not going to break like a PLA. So nice job on that. The sway bar, everything, beautiful setup, okay? I much prefer the sway bar links being closer to the axle because if you put it up by the fulcrum, like say right here, and the arm has to move like four inches to get like half an inch. 
So you have to have a stupid thick sway bar to get any decent action at all. And it's just not as effective as having it out at the axle. Or on like the independent suspension where it does that number, the closer you have them to the hinge pins, the less effective the sway bar is. Honestly, it's just a leverages, basic leverages. Well guys, um, 3D printed right here. They did absolutely awesome. Use that link down below. They're right down there. Um, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and do all the wonderful things I know you do. And go have a brownie. Get the corner. They're crispier. Guys, have a great day. Guys, you made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video it means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A, B, and E, B, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.